Pete McNeil here with Craft Brewing Business. We are at the Pure Malt booth at the 2019 Brew Expo America and Craft Brewers Conference. I'm here with Ron Dzanski from Pure Malt, and he's going to talk a little bit about your crafting range uh, of uh, malt. So tell, tell me a little bit about how this works, Ron. Okay, Peter. Um, at Pure Malt, we are specialists in manufacturing malt concentrates in liquid form. So we will take uh, a whole series of specialty malts which we produce and uh, we'll brew with those and we'll refine those um, so in the end we end up with a, a really great uh, concentrate which is very easy to use in the brewing process uh, and is designed to add color and flavor into the final product. So uh, Peter I'd just like to give you a quick demonstration sure. of some of these products. Um, first of all um, I'd like to introduce uh, this which is a Maitland caramel okay. product which is made from a, a lightly roasted crystal malt. Uh, as I mentioned before we um, transform this into a liquid format so that it's very easy to use and a simple in, simple um, addition into beer will actually bring to beer all the characteristics uh, that you would expect from uh, a lightly roasted caramel. So it's a simple matter of so the brewers are adding this when the process, when their brewing process is just completed. Yeah, so, so these are all the designed, okay. um, they're fully refined, so designed to be added post-fermentation. Okay. So very late stage additions. And you can see, if we compare to a control sample. Sure, it changes the color. Yeah, it changes the color yeah. um, into a rich golden color. And obviously, if you take a taste of that, you should get those rich, um, soft candy note of a, uh, of a caramel malt. Yeah, for sure. Now, what style of beer did this go into? So that would typically be into a, um, a premium lager style okay. beer. So, again, to take uh, perhaps from a, a, a very pale, um, lightly flavored lager, take it up into the premium category where, where rich crystal notes are required. Um, if we look at uh, perhaps a further product up the, the color scale, sure. um, we have a dark roast crystal okay. um, concentrate here. And this would typically be added to bring uh, rich amber and red tones to a beer, uh, and also uh, distinct rich dark caramel type notes. Typical of a strong ale, um, IPAs, and also red beers. Okay. So this would be the application for this. So again, I'll just take standard beer and add some of this particular product. You can see instantly sure. transformed into a, a rich red uh, ruby type. And so, color. depending on the flavor characteristics that the brewer is trying to achieve, they can yeah. add as little or as much uh, as they as like. As little as much as these are really um, elements of a toolbox, um, and it actually uh, allows the brewery, uh, the brewer, to um, express uh, a lot of um, his individuality and creativity. Um, we don't recommend a specific addition rate. That's entirely up to the, okay. to the brewer. It's a completely different beer. It's interesting. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Um, so, again, we focus on color and flavor. Uh, finally, I'd like to uh, just have a look at this, which is our uh, concentrate uh, Montgomery chocolate. Okay. This is um, uh, from a, a roast malt, and we've actually processed and refined this wow, to, to um, really express the, the chocolatey, mm -hmm. um, mocha, coffee type notes. Um, but also we've removed some of the harshness and astringency that can be associated with high addition rates of roast malt. Okay. So um, we're Move looking for a bitterness. very, very smooth, um, uh, chocolatey, mocha type uh, addition to this product. Once again, here we have uh, controlled beer. And instantly transformed. into a, a stout style. So this would typically be a, a stout or a porter type beer. Um, and I'd say it really uh, emphasizes the chocolate and sure. um, smooth roast notes. Well, Ron, thanks for your time. We appreciate uh, the, the walkthrough. Okay. Um, you guys will be here Pleasure. the the show. And uh, so now, Pure Monk, are you, uh, you just partnered with, uh, with Gusmer Enterprises, is that correct? That's correct, yeah. Um, we've entered a new partnership uh, with Gusmer Enterprises, Inc and they will be our sole distributor in the United States. So uh, any interest, uh, you can uh, contact Guzma directly okay. and we'll be pleased to uh, uh, obviously service any interest uh, from potential customers. All right, thanks, Ron. Thanks, Peter.